How do I look in the lighting? Uh, right there. Here's the rim. Uh, it's been chemically stripped uh, and then it's been delicately sanded in like the fine areas. Uh, and so at this point, now we hang it here in the booth and I will do the final wipe, um, the final blow off, inspection, and then start powder coating the ground coat. So paper towel, this is kind of like a lint free one, uh, and it's drenched in final wipe solution. And so now I wipe the whole rim down with this solution. And what that does is it gets rid of any grease or contaminants that might be on the rim uh, before powder coating. Uh, even just touching it with your hands, you know, the grease off your fingers and stuff, it'll contaminate it. So you give it a really clean wipe with this stuff and you're basically you're just scrubbing any contaminant that may be on there off. And just make sure that you get everywhere with it. Rooms with multiple spokes take a bit longer. Um, these ones aren't too bad. Get in everywhere and get around the dish. And now, can you see me? I get the back of it. Oh, yeah, nice and clean. Flip this guy. Oh, yeah. There we go. Here's the tape that I use. Um, I have this in all sizes. Uh, this is high temperature powder coating tape. Uh, masking tape basically, you mask off what you don't want the powder to get on. And this stuff handles the curing temperature. So I will pull some of this, uh, probably about there, and I will chop it off. So we got our sheet, pretty cool, eh? And we stick it on the back hub. Take your knife, <clears throat> take, take your knife and trim around. Okay, now that we trim around, you want to put your you want to put your knife back. So put this away somewhere safe. Don't forget to put your knife back. Let me show you what we've got. There it is. So you want to cover the hub because if you powder coat it and that powder is uneven or whatever, um, you're not going to have um, basically a balanced wheel. It won't be balanced. It'll be on the car, kind of you know messed up. So. Don't powder coat that. Mask it off and uh, leave it that way. So there you go. Now we can powder. 
Okay guys, so I've got the powder in the bottle. Uh, today I'm gonna coat these wheels in um, what's called phantom uh, glass black. So it's not it's not like a regular black. It's still black, but it's actually really it's it's a really cool black. It has like a it's kind of confusing. It's almost like an extremely dark gray, but it's not a dark gray. It's a black. Uh, but so it looks like black, but it looks like an interesting black. Um, so that's what we're doing it in. Uh, so I got that in the bottle, and you don't fill the bottle more than about 60% full. Because uh, it comes out nicer if you don't. So connect that to the gun, and it starts spraying out like that. So it's a very high voltage gun, you got to be careful. If I put this tip close to my finger, it'll zap me and it'll run right through my whole body. There it is. Okay, so let's turn the power on and pay attention. Uh, pay attention to where I start, which is the tight spots first, um, how much I put on and how I lay it on because all these things are happening for a reason and if you don't do it, uh, in a specific way, uh, it'll turn out looking like absolute garbage, including having runs and all kinds of problems. Um, so pay attention. The first spot I hit is in there because it's the deepest and hardest spot to get at. Um, it looks it looks well coated to me. I'm gonna leave it alone now. And when I'm finished, I check everything with a spotlight to make sure uh, everything's covered. So now I move on to the next tight spots. I got all the tight spots. Now what I want to do is kind of do like an even feather. You're feathering the powder evenly across the entire rim. Horizontal 
and then vertical. What that does, it blends everything, because if you have a thicker and thinner coat of powder, it shows. Um, so this acts like a nice uh, blend. So moving on. Okay. So it's all coated now. And I'm just going to do a spot check with the flashlight uh, and inspection everywhere for full coverage and throwing it in the oven for curing. Time to spray the clear.
So we put the clear on it. The clear soda looks like white. Okay, so cleared it uh, back in the oven and let it bake. So uh, once, I, once it's done baking, uh, let it completely cool down, leaving it in the oven so it doesn't collect dust while it's cooling down. Uh, and then they're done. Check this out. So, yeah. Um, Terrible lighting. I hate when the lighting is bad because, oh yeah, see that? Right there I look good, right? Nice tan skin, you know, like perfect, looks sharp. You can kind of see the chiseledness in my face because I work out so my body fat percent's really low. Um, wait, what are we talking? Oh no, we're talking about rims. Uh, check out these rims. So there it is. What do you think of that? Look at that. Look at that. Like, we're talking like... Like, damn! Damn, I do good work. Like, look at that. Look at the finish of this. You remember this thing was curb rashed all around? Look at that now, stunning. Perfect, perfect gloss. And you see how the color has like a weird, like, it kind of has like a bronze glow to it when the light hits it, or like, it's just, it's called phantom black, so it's black, but it kind of comes alive too. It's not just like a simple like shadow. Like this thing comes alive in the sun, but it's black. Oh man. Check this out outside.